Bonjour YouTube, good evening YouTube. Um, I thought I would uh, do a bilingual installation of uh, Subgraph OS rather than having to do two videos. Bon, uh, bonsoir uh, mes amis de YouTube, uh, je ferai deux copies, au lieu de faire deux copies de l'installation de Subgraph OS, je le fais le en, en, dans les deux langues. Uh, uh, Alright, so to begin with, uh, I've already done a pre-install of the Subgraph OS and uh, on uh, VMware, and uh, I have it hiding back here, and uh, it seems to work better. This is the alpha release. Um, uh, comme je disais en anglais, uh, j'ai fait une copie, uh, une installation du Subgraph déjà. Um, Ça marche mieux, c'est la version alpha. Euh, en tout cas, là, je vais commencer à faire l'installation euh, euh, du début. Uh, OK, so here we go. I'm going to start the uh, installation from the very beginning. So here we go. Uh, what was interesting is I found that um, uh, just like the previous version, uh, this version, the cursor didn't work either. However, um, it kind of worked. The mouse, you couldn't actually see it, but uh, it would follow and uh, highlight the items. Uh, and then once I was able to shut it down and reboot it, it started to work. Comme je disais en anglais, j'ai fait l'installation comme la dernière fois, le cursor ne fonctionnait pas. Après avoir fait un recommencement du système, um, ça fonctionnait très bien, pas de problème. Uh, alors, je vais faire uh, l'installation maintenant du début. Uh, so, here we go. I'm going to say uh, custom machine. I'm going to say uh, subgraph. I'm going to choose the hard drive for which I want to install it on. So, I'm going to install it on this hard drive here. I'm going to choose VM machine 8. I'm going to say Linux. I'm going to say other 64 bit, one CPU. Uh, found that 4 gig worked very nicely. Except for I need to put my newer keypad on. 496. Root side interface. I'm going to create a new disk. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to go with 40 gig. I'm going to thin provision it. I'm going to hit next. Next. I'm going to edit it before I start, and I'm going to change the CD. I'm going to go to my data store that has my uh, ISOs on it. Uh, and I will find the subgraph OS alpha. Here we go. Euh, bon, comme euh, je disais, j'accepte euh, quasiment les défauts. Euh, J'ai mis 4 mecs de 4 gigotés de mémoire, euh, un CPU, euh, le lecteur euh, CD DVD. J'ai installé comme un ISO. Euh, Puis il n'y a pas vraiment euh, chose d'extraordinaire de, et différent. Euh, connect et Power On. Uh, so the ISO is accessible, um, and we'll hit finish. Uh, I will then take this one, we'll open up the console, and I will uh, hit the boot button. All right, here goes. Install. Now I just did the same install under um, uh, hypervisor and uh, it worked ish. I say worked ish um, because I could not get the network to work, period. Um, J'ai fait la même installation sur uh, Hyper-V, puis uh, je pourrais faire pourrait pas avoir le, le réseautage fonctionnant du tout. Euh, alors, euh, je, te, euh, je, 
refait l'installation sur VMware, euh, il fonctionnait bien, alors c'est là où je fais mon démonstration. English, Canada, English Keyboard. Um, I'm going to skip uh, some of the components and I'm going to switch to the live running version at the same time so you don't get bored. I'll just put in a few passwords and I'll skip the encryption part um, so we can go. Um, of course, the password is password, password, and right about here it should ask for the encryption part. So I write the changes, and here's where I'm going to hit cancel. I don't want to do this, that takes too long. Right, password again. Bon, on commence l'installation, on accepterait les défauts, mais on ne fait pas toute la, la vérification du disque dur. Puis là, on termine l'installation, puis on sauvegarde les changements au disque dur. Uh, so here we go, we're going to finalize the installation and write the changes at the disk. And this is the long and boring part. So while this thing is just crunching away in the background, I have another VM running over here. And uh, I'll just uh, give you a quick uh, show of it. Um, so, you know, I have to use our password again. <coughs> so what I found interesting is in the VM uh, where uh, once it was operational, you'll see that there's a network node here. As you click on here, um, there's a wired connection. You actually have to turn it on because by default it seems to have been turned off. Um, this little icon, which shows that there's a network card, uh, it actually doesn't even appear in Hyper-V. So as I said, uh, my Hyper-V works, uh, but for some reason the um, installation on Hyper-V, it just does not recognize the network card. Um, Um, on dirait que l'installation, euh, s'il n'y a pas l'icon ici, ça veut dire qu'il n'y a pas de réseau. Euh, sur l'installation Hyper-V, on n'a pas cet icon. Euh, je crois que le système ne euh, comprend pas vraiment le type de carte de réseau euh, Hyper-V. Euh, en tout cas, euh, dans, le, la prochaine chose, c'est que euh, une fois qu'on commence le système par défaut, euh, la carte réseau s'est fermée. Alors, il faut faire ouvrir, uh, turn on, turn off. Alors, uh, le défaut maintenant, c'est pour faire fermer, to turn it off. This is the default now, obviously, turn it off. We want to keep it on. Um, here is my outside firewall. I can ping it, nice day, uh, no problem. I can uh, ping uh, yahoo.com. I don't know, let's try it. It should work. There we go. All right, we're good to go. Um, so, here is the uh, desktop. Um, here's the Tor browser. It's going to probably need to do a first time install. Um, haven't tried this out. Um, so, I'm not sure what's going on here. Why isn't this not working now? There we go. Looks like it's trying to do it twice. We only need one. So, it seems to be downloading the tarball. I can see my modem flashing and now you can see the download on screen. Uh, during this whole time you can see the installation still going in the background. We're up to 82%. Uh, L'installation du uh, web browser, uh, on clique dessus ici, tu vois ça c'est l'icon pour le Tor Browser. Uh, la première fois que tu cliques là-dessus, il fait l'installation, uh, c'est ça qu'on voyait ici. Uh, à l'arrière de l'écran tu vois l'installation commence d'être fini, euh, termine euh, 88-18% euh, puis là il vient de terminer. Um, ok, so we'll switch actually to the other machine while well, it's downloading that tarball. Uh, we'll write out the bootloader. We choose the device to install it on. Uh, ça c'est pour faire euh, terminer l'installation puis installer le bootloader. Um, there we go.
Euh, puis le monde de, qui sont français, euh, euh, c'est ma mieux. Je suis anglophone, alors euh, si c'est bon, c'est assez bon, euh, c'est bien. Sinon, trouveront des autres vidéos. <laughs> J'essaie au moins. All right, so there we go. That's installation. It's doing the live package updates and all the rest of that. Um, let's just have a quick look here. Let's just minimize this to get it out of the way. And uh, let's go back over here and see how our Tor browser is doing. You can see the machine going uh, rebooting in the background. And uh, let's just try it here. Uh, um, I'm guessing my first uh, surf of the web, my IP address will now be marked because I'm on the Tor network and um, I'll be considered a bad guy. So I guess um, so be it. Uh, so uh, let me just go to at least this is a website that don't probably won't care. And as we can see here in the background, um, password, uh, the machine's coming up. And here we go. Looks like it uh, works like a charm. Um, just, uh, I guess we can just about do everything we want. Uh, as you can see, the uh, machine in the background's come up. Um, if uh, you have any questions, uh, post them. Uh, si tu as des questions, uh, tu peux le mettre sur uh, la site vidéo uh, YouTube. Uh, J'essaie de répondre. Uh, um, tu voyais la machine à l'arrière de l'écran uh, présente. Uh, il vient de commencer. Um, this is where I had the cursor problems the first time. Uh, we'll give this a go now. We'll see if it's the same thing. Uh, the cursor actually disappeared. <clears throat> and it didn't seem to work. So it seems to be very similar during the first install. As you can see up in the top corner here, you see the word activities. It's going bright. If I go over to the other side, you can see the power button. And if I manage to figure out where the power button is, I can shut this puppy down, do a power off, and I bet you if I reboot this thing, it'll work like a charm, like the other machine did. So uh, that seems to be the only problems. Um, and the rest of it seems to work. So uh, I think that's about all we got. Um, wired connection, turn it off. Uh, this is the desktop. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. Looks very good. Office writer. Um, I'm a Minecraft fan, so I'll probably install a Minecraft on this just to see how it works and how well it works. Um, I'm just going to boot up the other machine for you. Um, by the way, I'm uh, running uh, VM View, uh, VMware rather, on um, uh, an Intel i3, 3.4 gigahertz with uh, 32 gig of RAM. I've got four hard drives on it. Again, uh, if you're really curious, um, the um, configuration of my uh, machine is uh, on my web page. Uh, I'm uh, capable of running uh, up to seven VMs easily on it. And as you can see, now that it's rebooted, uh, it seems to be working fine. On dira. Um, I'm just wondering, the second machine doesn't seem to be working as good as the first, so it's maybe it's not completely consistent. Ça a l'air que la deuxième machine ne souris fonctionne pas du tout non plus. On mettrait dans activity, puis non. Interesting. So this one here, the second time around, after booting it, didn't work. Interesting. Um, so I spoke with um, Subgraph, and um, he says apparently it's a known bug that uh, they're working on fixing this with uh, VMware. 
Um, it doesn't seem to be consistent, uh, but uh, it is what it is. I, I don't know if that means that you're going to have to install it more than once, like I did. I don't know, but uh, it seems to work fine over here. And uh, this other machine here was just for the demo. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to kill it and delete it anyway. Um, power, power off. I'm just going to kill it. And I'm just going to delete it from the disk because, uh, as I said, it was just for the demo. The, uh, the first one seemed to work like a charm. And uh, I guess if I reboot this one again, we'll see if it works or not. Um, alors, euh, la deuxième machine, c'était juste pour la démonstration. Euh, ça a l'air que ça fonctionne pas vraiment parfait, mais euh, ils ont nous indiqué qu'il y a des problèmes avec les souris puis euh, VMware. Euh, en tout cas, euh, je viens de l'effacer la, la, la deuxième parce que Euh, ma première fonctionne bien. Euh, je vais la recommencer bientôt pour savoir si il euh, y a des problèmes. Mais euh, si tu as des questions, euh, tu peux me demander. Um, so that's about it. Uh, if you uh, want to see anything or know anything about it, uh, here's a desktop, all of the uh, applications. It seems to be well laid out. Uh, I might do another video on it, uh, explaining some of the applications. But uh, I think it's pretty straightforward uh, distro um, looks pretty good I'm gonna play with it and see um, and I'll have to do a search for my IP address to see if I've been logged anywhere now just for uh, fun of it alright good night that's about it see you YouTube